Welcome to our five on five. Please welcome back Christina Kruger, the regional business manager for Pacific Power. Good to see you. Thanks for coming Hi, in. Hey, thanks for having me today. My pleasure. So we're talking about smart meters. It sounds like tens of thousands of them are coming to Jackson County this summer. Uh, first, I guess I should start. What are smart meters? So smart meters are basically devices that measure your energy use from your home and send that information wirelessly to us. Okay, and so that obviously it sounds like that's a good way for you guys to get information about what's going on in the grid, if you will. Uh, you don't have to necessarily leave the office, is that right? Well, we will receive that information remotely, but we will also have some employees out capturing that information with their devices. Okay, now is there uh, a cost associated with this? Are people going to have to pay for these smart meters that they're, it sounds like they are going to get? Actually, there won't be a cost associated for our customers. We planned ahead and we made sure that we wouldn't have to impact them with increased rates associated for that. Okay, does, does everyone have to have a smart meter? What if people like the dumb meter, forgive me, for, for that they have currently? If someone wants to opt out, they certainly can. They just have to give us a call. Okay, all right. Um, so what are the advantages of having this? You talked before about remote access. Um, what else can a smart meter uh, help people with or help you with? Sure. So primarily, the smart meter will be able to give our customers information about their energy use. So before, when they would receive their bill, they would just receive an overall monthly summary of what they used. Now they can actually go back and look at the information and see whether or not their behavior is in directly impacting their bill. And they can hopefully lower their energy use and, mm. and lower their costs. Wow. Okay. So they can kind of get an hour-by-hour hour breakdown and say, if when I turn that one computer on, it's you know, all of a sudden we're up 5% right. or something. It's pretty exciting. Okay, cool. All right. So uh, some people are concerned about this. Um, there's a town, uh, a town hall right now in talent from 6 to 8 p.m. I guess there's still time for people to head out there, um, you know, talking about this. Do people have any reasons to be concerned about their health? So over half of the homes in the United States have already had these meters installed. That's over 70 million if you include businesses and homes. We are late system adopters, and we wanted to make sure that these were mature enough and that they were safe enough to really be a benefit to our customers. So we do not feel that there is a safety risk there. Okay, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll have more in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Christina Kruger from Pacific Power. So we're talking about these, these smart meters uh, that are coming uh, in, in late June? June to, 25th through okay. September. Okay, to Jackson County. So uh, we're talking about uh, some of the concerns people had. So these give out radio frequencies. Um, but so do cell phones, right. correct? It's actually low watt radio frequency and it's less than a cell phone or a Wi-Fi router or a microwave or a garage door opener, things that you might commonly have in your life. Okay, stuff we may not think about. People may not know the term radio frequencies. Correct. But it's around us probably. Very, very if common. If we're indoors. Okay, so uh, this will, smart meters will be an advantage in outages for you guys. How is that? Oh, absolutely. So in the past, we would have to wait for someone to give us a call to let us know that their power is out but now we're going to receive pretty instantaneous information letting us know that people are out and we can dispatch our resources more quickly. Okay, that's certainly good in, in the Fair. summertime with everybody cranking the heat around here in Southern Absolutely. Oregon, of course. So you, you gave a, a date range, a couple months. Yes. When should people expect to, to have someone, I don't know, some knocking on their door trying to get in their side yard to put in the smart meter. I mean, what, what can people right. expect with this process? So before our official rollout in the area, so June 25th, we, our customers will start to see things in the mail, such as a postcard to notify them, and then uh, they'll receive a letter uh, with additional detail as far as timing for their, their neighborhood, and then they will receive a phone call a week before. And then on the day of, we'll knock on the door and let them know that we're there to make the change, and they will know it's been completed because they'll receive a door hanger hanging there for them. Okay, so if people have questions about the process yes. or, or, or the health questions or anything like that, I know you guys are getting a lot of that. Uh, what's the, is there a place that people can go to, to learn up on this stuff? Absolutely, we're available to answer any questions. We wanna make sure that our customers know that. They can go to our website. Okay, all right. And then uh, do they find a smart meter tab up there or something like yes, that? Yes, absolutely. Okay. They you can guys do have that. a page set up, mm -hmm. makes sense. Okay, all right, good to see you. Thanks so much good for being here, appreciate it. All right, stay with us, we'll be right back.